archaeologist Jacob Dickey, who has prepared some lovely mason jar salsa for us today. And tell us the twist one more time. Yeah, again, so we've done our mason jar salsas. This isn't a normal tomato-based salsa. These are fruit salsas. We've got a watermelon salsa over here and a pineapple salsa over here. They go great with just chips and dip, but they're also fantastic on pulled pork tacos. I'll put them on omelets. Uh, you know, a lot of great flavor you can add with these fruit-based salsas here. You know, we've got this nice spread of fruit. We've assembled it. You've been waiting for this moment. I have been waiting for this moment. Remind people really quickly what the prep looked like. Yeah, so we've added in our watermelon salsa, we put in cucumber, watermelon, melons and peppers and onions and then we do a little jalapeno and have a cilantro lime twist to it Oops. and that's in that mason jar right there you can see we just how, did a little shake shake how, shake yeah how easy it is to put in a mason jar and then that stores in the fridge super easy so you can pull it out and have it ready to go and you know what i bet the longer it sits the longer You're right that, that flavor Let it sit in the fridge for a few hours before Saturate. you have a, a party or before dinner and those flavors are really going to marinate together in the fridge this here is a pineapple one so we got pineapple we put some onions some cucumber put a little peppers in there and even put a little jalapeno and some cilantro and lime again to give it that nice flavor. The color too, isn't that an incredible color combination? Beautiful it? colors. It really is. These and are it looks great up. in the weather garden is what yeah. I was saying earlier. Oh, fantastic. So, okay, we got some chips higher here. Today. Moment of truth. Take so you go for the pineapple, I'll go for the watermelon here. I love how chunky it is and I oh, love yeah. that fresh cilantro. Mmm. Mm. That's a very nice light, nice light flavor. Something I could just eat all day long. Right? Yeah. Like if I was at a party, I would be coming back for this again and again. I gotta sneak in some of this watermelon here. This is great for a summer barbecue, for the family, just make it on your own. You got extra vegetables in the freezer. Grab one of the pineapple yeah. on your app. You got extra vegetables in the freezer or fridge. You can put them together really easy. This is definitely something that if you just had some um, vegetables that were going bad mm -hmm. and you wanted to, to use them quickly, you could just chop them up, throw them together with some lime juice, and sure enough, you've got yourself a nice little side yep. dish. So a delicious way to use summer vegetables. I caught a little jalapeno in that pineapple. Woo! A little bit of heat there. Yeah. The flavors just really come good. One of my favorite things to do in the summertime is take fresh watermelon and uh, make watermelon salsa. We've obviously done a little damage to there. I think we're going to finish it up here once we get to the commercial break. Super forgiving. We just kind of eyeballed a cup each of our ingredients here, and sure enough, we had a delicious salsa. That's right. I'll salsa. have these up on my Facebook page, and of course, we'll have them on CILiving.tv as well. All these great recipes and more. Uh, we'll have to see what you want me to cook next time. I don't know, Jacob. I trust you to decide. Or maybe we should see about bringing Mama Dickie in. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, Mama Dickie, she should come. CILiving.tv for all these recipes. Thanks so much.